not be held responsible for taking your man. Okay? If your man's gets tooken, he should never been looking. Okay? Hey y'all, it's your girl Chili and welcome back to Chili God Soul. Yes, I do. Okay, yes, I do. And I got this beautiful 180 density Peruvian deep curly 360 lace wig from So Wigs. And let me just tell y'all something. It is everything. Okay, it's everything. Like, I'm living for it. I'm here for it. I came here today for this wig. I'm living for it. Okay, listen, listen. I'm going to have all the details about this wig down below inside of the description box. So y'all can definitely go ahead and check them out. And if you use the code CB5, you get $5 off your next wig. So check them out, y'all. So So Wig sent me this wig, and I thought it would be fun to see if somebody that has absolutely zero experience, actually, sorry, somebody that has negative experience um, with hair uh, could try to install it. So as you can see by the fact that it's not falling apart, um, <laughs> I've done it. The method that I'm using is the elastic band method, and here we go. Okay, so I'm about to go ahead and get to opening up this here package and quit that. Ooh, that is so pretty. Yes, come through purple, come through violet, come through black lavender. Yes. Ooh, very pretty packaging. Oh, I love a pretty package. <laughs> yes come through curls come through y'all i'm not gonna know how to act i'm not gonna know how to act okay it's done it's over it's finished for y'all i'm literally going to give y'all until the time that i come back from the beauty supply to hide your men that's all the time i'm giving you oh the curls are everything look at them bounce look at this <laughs> that's how quickly your man bounces back in my dms <laughs> this is cool it comes with um instructions on how to care for the wig Ooh, oh uh-uh uh-uh they sent lashes oh they really <laughs> it's done it's over it's finished for you okay so i have to go to the beauty supply store so that i can actually go and get some stuff so that i can actually install this up into my head and begin stealing your men and begin stealing your men all right, so I'm back, and you may notice I look uh, like 100% different. Um, it's actually been a couple days since I said um, I was just going to go to the store and be right back. You see, what had happened was um, the new Sims had came out, so I've been very busy. I have been very busy. Like, I had to put my kids through college. Like, I'm very busy, you know? But I'm back now. I went to the store, and I'm about to show y'all my haul, okay? I got this elastic band uh, needle and thread. I got some wig caps. I got these tweezers because in my last video, somebody said my wig looked like a helmet. <laughs> they said my wig looked like a helmet and I needed to pluck it. So I got the tweezers so y'all can leave me alone. I got this got to be glued spray. So um, I recently learned how to kind of like plait to my scalp, which is what's underneath this. Unfortunately, it looks a mess. It looks a mess. So with the help of iMovie, I'm going to magically put on my wig caps without y'all seeing, <laughs> without y'all seeing this because it's a very bad. <laughs> and we're back. Okay. <laughs> so I watched this tutorial on how to install a wig using an elastic um, little band. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, I'm going to pull up the tutorial again and like watch for like the hundredth time and just make sure that I don't, I don't jack this up because I got a feeling I'm gonna jack this up. I know the first thing I need to do is measure this bad boy. I got a big behind head though, that's the thing. Now, the girl that I watched, she said that you wanna, dang, okay, 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 my head's not that big, okay. <laughs> I didn't need you to unravel like that. <laughs> so the girl that I watched, she said that you need to like measure it from like the middle of your ear or something like that, like something like right here or so to like, the other side right here and you don't want it to be like too tight you don't want it to be too tight because um otherwise it'll like hurt and anybody has time for headaches okay we're trying to be cute we don't have headaches okay so i got like this much i guess my head's not that big i feel like that's good y'all know i don't know what i'm doing where the tutorial at yo my history on youtube is like ridiculous like it's literally like 
uh, How to Crip Walk for Beginners, uh, Soul Apartment Tour, Installing Band Expansion Pack for The Sims, um, and then a bunch of like sad underground Korean R&B music. Make sure there is space between your ears and the headband because if there's too much pressure on the back of your ears like this, it will hurt guys and your wig will be very uncomfortable. All right, so I watched, I did it correctly. We're gonna go ahead and cut off what we need. Ooh, okay, I didn't think this through. All right, now what? I'm just gonna measure it one more time to make sure it's perfect. And it should be between the first two braids, okay? Okay. So make sure it kind of stops that it. None of that is that. Yo, I got a big head, dog. She said it'd be the same length as a red tail comb. All right, we're gonna take the wig. Where's the front? Hold up. It says, you're going too fast. You're going too fast. Okay, okay. All right, okay. Okay, measure this from here. Okay, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to mark it where the thing is because I know I'm going to lose this. Get out of here, curl. What the heck? That did not, I think I must have colored the hair. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> All right, okay, we're marked it. All right, now, my good sis says, okay, so I'm gonna start here, and she said don't put it too far, like toward the edge, and then also don't put it too far, like toward your hair, you want it to be like right in the middle. Uh, so here's my mark, so I'm probably gonna do it like right here. I'm so nervous. Get my needle and thread correct and ready. Fun fact, um, majority of like black beauty supply stores like i think the number is like 70 or 60 percent of black beauty supply stores are actually owned by korean people um or korean american people to be more exact um it's a really cool like interesting history as to like why that is um if y'all ever check out the book they just made it into a movie i think it's called um the sun is also a star i didn't watch the movie because they never do movies correct when they come from books they never do it correct but um it's a really interesting like background story so y'all should check that out uh, i'm gonna go ahead and thread up my needle the beauty supply store that i go to is also owned by korean people and they're like the nicest people ever they're super nice um they be hooking it up when i come through they give me the korean snacks um and we be practicing koreans together um i need to get better i really do I'm really losing so much of like my Korean like I probably speak Korean at like upper intermediate level or so lately I haven't been practicing like I just haven't been like I'm having trouble like reading um and writing like simple phrases I have to practice like please remind me to practice okay bully me until I practice needle threaded it up all right a little snippety snip snap he said to use my judgment to uh figure out how uh who's going to call it how flat i want this to be i don't have very good judgment so <laughs> and we're gonna take this and we're gonna thread it on through i poke myself up i just feel like i'm not doing this right i'm about to go get my grandma to sew this yo because i don't have time for this oh my gosh it looks so easy this too much okay and that's supposed to be the easy part now where did my needle go i believe in myself that's the thing wait a minute because i lost the wall mark wait <laughs> this is gonna be a mess okay i don't mess around and get the staple in this thing i don't have, you know I, I don't have time if i poke myself i'm giving up i wonder if i can staple this for real staple all right, well, you, whatever, we'll, we'll just, you know, nobody's thinking outside the box, you know, <laughs> now, why would the needle come off the thread like this? What do you gain from that? I'm finna go get my mom, dog, I don't need this. This is too much. Why is she trying to act like she don't know how to sew nothing? Uh, okay, you know what, this is what I'm gonna look up, this is what I'm gonna look up. No sew, <clears throat> cause maybe staple wasn't the right word. How to elastic band for beginners. I mean, I'm really not a beginner, you know, I've been doing this for like 25 minutes, so I, you know, <laughs> y'all can keep that one. I'm just gonna have to try it again. What I'm um, nervous about is the elastic band just like, um, just snapping completely off my head. Like, um, I also want y'all to know, um, everybody else sews very neatly, but like I told you before, I am, a, you know, an innovator. You know, I, I don't like to do like how everybody else does. I call this freeform sewing. Um, you don't have to sew in a line. 
you know you don't have to sew in a line like you can really sew however you want to sew like it's your life it's <laughs> freeform sewing technique it it, it, it it, 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 the wig strap is on there. It, it, can't nobody say that it, it's not on there, you know? As long as she don't come off, you know, ain't nobody gonna see this part. Ain't nobody gonna notice this. Yo, is this recording? Yeah, okay. I, <laughs> I like, y'all need to understand, like, the amount of times that I've gone to edit. And I'm like, where are those two days worth of footage? Back to the other, back to the other side. And again, we're gonna go in with the freeform um, sewing technique where you just kind of stab uh, randomly and then just pull through um, wherever, wherever it may come out. Oh, I, I might have just done this some. Okay, so I got the lace cut, okay? She is, where, where is she? She's non-existent. I already started like working on my part and I'm gonna go ahead and start picking out a couple like little strands of hair so that way we can start plucking this bad boy up. Now you don't want to get too many pieces of hair at a time because um, you'll end up like ripping the lace and like that's just not even a look. So um, to do this by hand, it's really easy. Like it's pretty much the same. Like you just take it and wrap around your finger and just pull little pieces out. But I do have tweezers now, so I ain't got to do all that. But if you don't have tweezers, that is the way to do it. It's really simple. It took me maybe, maybe like five or 10 minutes, like the last time that I did this. So, okay, I kind of don't understand how I'm supposed to do this. Um, I think I might just do this with my hands because I did a pretty good job with my hands the last time. Okay, I think she is pretty well plucked. This little piece right here is really bothering me. So I'm gonna like try to flat iron just this one spot right here so that the top of it is just a little bit more flat. Um, I guess while we wait for my flat iron to, um, to heat up, I can go ahead and start like laying my edges down. I take like eco style first, and then I take uh, just to kind of like move my edges like where I would like them to be located at. And then I take um, like a harder gel or edge control and go like back over them. So I'm just gonna like just take this little top part and just kind of give her just a little. This next part, I have to be really careful uh, when I do this. I probably should have done this first, but alas, I didn't. I'm gonna go ahead and like wet this up a little bit because we want these curls to pop, hunty. We want these curls to pop. So I just have a spray bottle full of some water. And then, oops, turn this flat iron off. See, I really be trying to burn my house down. Like, we're gonna go in with our lot of body um, mousse and go ahead and give us some of this. All right, that should be like enough. I hope. If not, we can like get some more. And we're just gonna go in. Get that mousse up in there. Dang! Okay, curls. Okay, curls. So what you said, y'all was coming through, huh? Huh, y'all said y'all coming through, huh? Y'all not ready for me this week, okay? <laughs> I'm telling y'all that right now. Hide your man, hide your man right now for the end of this video because I don't want I don't want y'all up in the comments talking about, Chili, you took my man. I'm like, okay, well, this is your disclaimer. This is your warning. I cannot be held responsible for taking your man, okay? If your man gets tooken, he should never been looking, okay? They know they're not. Let me go put some eyebrows on. Because y'all think this is a game. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't see you there. <laughs> I'm chilly, by the way. So I'm back with the eyebrows and just a little bit of lip gloss, you know. Something slight. I also decided to throw something new on, you know, for your man. This is for your man. Um, <laughs> off the camera, I went ahead and actually cut these baby hairs and then plucked. Uh, the baby hairs as well, because uh, they were a little bit too long, a little bit too thick up in here, and it just wasn't, it wasn't right. Um, I also took the cap off that I had on underneath here, because uh, the color was just a little bit too light. Um, so yeah, 
we are done um i'm really loving this hair the hair is so soft and the curls are everything the curls are everything i'll link all the details about this wig in the description box down below if you like this video you already know what to do give it a like subscribe share it with the entire world um wear deodorant every day wear deodorant every day okay y'all please please okay uh follow me on instagram follow me on twitter and tune in actually tomorrow for some more chili got soul yes i do i got the soul okay